Hello Internet! In this video I will show you how I was able to fix this garage door that didn't always shut by simply lubricating it correctly. Keep watching. Welcome to Scott's Garage. Welcome literally to my garage. Whether it's working on a car, a daily driver or a project car, or a project around the yard or a home improvement project, all of my do-it-yourself projects begin here in my garage. Scott's Garage is a place for do-it-yourselfers Welcome to my channel. Now here's the presenting problem. When I hit the garage door, this is what happens. Okay, when this has happened before, what I've done in the past is have my wife hit the garage door and I simply put some downward pressure on it and it's able to shut and then give it a few hours and then, then it would work again. It's time now to fix it correctly. Okay, here's how we're going to go about this. We're going to disconnect what's called the trolley uh, from the chain. Let me give you a closer look at the trolley. Um, so, so, so there it is. And, and, and the trolley basically uh, rides along what's called the, the rail. And the, the trolley is connected to the uh, garage door. And so you pull that chain and it disconnects. And you can just by hand shut the garage door and then we'll inspect it. Okay, one of the things I've noticed right away is on the very bottom here, this is this very thin sheet metal that forms like a metal frame. And it is pulled away here at the bottom where one of the rollers is attached. That could be it. It could be binding. Um, so I will fix that. But before I fix it, I'm going to try just lubricating the garage door and we'll see if that fixes it first. Okay, I, I physically raised the door by hand. Need better light here. Uh, again, you can see where this sheet metal frame is pulled away. I'll fix that. I'll do a separate video on that. But uh, I want to, again, lubricate this door, see if that works first. And the first things that we're going to lubricate are what are called the rollers. So, you know, there's a series of rollers um, on the door. And, and these rollers have a metal axle, but the roller itself is actually plastic. And these rollers have an open bearing. And what I mean by that is let me see if i can get a closer look there there we go um so it, it, these are metal bearings uh, and there are little ball bearings and i can see them i don't know if you can see them or not and it's open uh, so that means that we can lubricate them and when i say um, lubricate them uh, we we are not going to use wd-40 wd-40 works well for a lot of things but not so well on garage doors um, also if you have like three in one oil uh, don't use that this is going to drip and make a mess uh, instead uh, we're going to use Permatex silicon lubricant. This stuff's great. It lubricates really well and it doesn't, um, it, it's not messy. So it's not going to be dripping down in that. So it works well for garage doors. Please see the Amazon affiliate link below. Okay, next we're going to lubricate the rail and, and also the, the, the trolley. Now it's disconnected right now, but um, this uh, trolley rides along this rail. And quite often that's where a garage door will bind up. Uh, don't uh, lubricate the chain. This, this chain is sealed. It won't do any good to be spraying the chain. Uh, but we are going to, we are going to lubricate the, the rail. Let me give you, give you a closer look here. So um, basically, I'll be uh, spraying, excuse me, right below that. So on that um, upper edge, um, all along on both sides, and, and then also underneath here on the trolley, and that'll help significantly. Okay, next we're simply gonna put a bead of that lubricant uh, along the spring, just, just on one side of it. That's it.
Okay, the last thing is we will lubricate these pulleys. There's, so there's one there and one on the opposite side. And on this back side uh, should be the bearing and I'll lubricate them. Okay, next, um, across the um, horizontal part of the door, every place where there's a hinge, these little hinges here, I'll put some lubrication in there as well. Okay, what I'm going to do now is hit the garage door. It'll move the chain uh, down to the end where the trolley is. Uh, then I'll take the red cord and I'll pull it back. It'll attach the trolley again to the chain. Okay, it's time to test it and see if lubrication causes this door to now shut. Let's find out. Okay, it was much quieter as it shut and it did shut, so that's a good sign. I'll keep monitoring it. Um, you know, it still could be other things that need to be adjusted. Uh, and I'll keep you informed if there are other, uh, if, it's, if it uh, acts up again and doesn't shut, I'll, I'll continue to make videos until I get this fixed. Uh, but for now, uh, this is a video on how to properly lubricate a garage door. And it may help it shut better like this one. If you got any value from this video, please hit like. It costs you nothing. It was of great value to me. At the time of this video, I, I have about 2,700 subscribers. When I reach 5,000, it's time to celebrate with a $50 gift card giveaway, a random drawing. Uh, I'll pick a random video and then a random comment. So two things you need to do. Hit the like button and then secondly, leave a comment. That's it. Why not give it a try? Have a great day.